Okay guys, so what I'm going to do is quickly, just to show you how to use decals, I'm going to try and model a Coke can as quickly as possible, um, but make it a little more realistic using the decals. As always, we're going to start standard millimeter IPT, we're going to do a sketch on the XY plane, uh, and it's just going to be very rough, so I'm going to do a bit of guesswork, so we're going to do 56mm, just a little bit more than 2 inches, going to extrude that by 100mm. And that's going to be our basis of our coke can. I'm going to do a chamfer just to get those edges. Again, I'm not going to model this absolutely correctly. Just something quick to show you some results. And that should give you a quick representation of a coke can. The next thing I'm going to do is going to go to uh, Google Images and just type in coke can. Of course, you can do Sprite Fanta or any other soft drinks. Go to Images. Uh, there's one there. We've got a flat pattern, basically. So I'll view that image. Uh, save it. I just did this a second ago, so Coke label, yep. And if you go back, you could also do Coke can top. And there's this one here. First one, the same thing again, view image, right click, save image as, and that's the photo there, deposit photos. So now we've got two images saved, uh, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna start adding these on. So I'm gonna do a sketch on this top face here, and you've got insert up here, we've got image. In there, it takes you to my downloads here, which we've just done. So you saw me do that. Open that one. Uh, it's going to bring it in. It's going to be absolutely huge by the looks of things. Uh, it's just saying you should save this to keep the links. I'm going to ignore that for now. Um, you can see it's a bit too big, so we can rescale it. The good thing is you can still use all your constraints because it's actually is sketch geometry. This box around the outside. So I'm going to align this around the center point there. Uh, I'm going to project the outer edge of the coke can and I'm going to resize this roughly to that outer edge. It's uh, about right, finish that. And now up here in your create tab you've got one called decal. The first thing it asks you for is the image, so we're going to select that one. The second thing it asks you for is a face, so we select that top face, that coke can. And what it does, it essentially extrudes this um, image onto that face and it will cut around anything that it doesn't hit the face, it will essentially cut off. So if hit OK, you can see what's done there. Um, obviously, this is a very quick way. We could model all of this. So if you're doing it with higher level students, make them model the whole can, shell it, etc. But I'm just going to show you how to use decals on this, this little tutorial. So next thing we want to do is we're going to create a work plane. So you've got the hotkey is the square bracket, and we're going to use one of the planes on the origin, the YZ, and then this outer face here. So it will give us a tangent work plane. I'm going to do a sketch on that work plane. I'm going to insert the image of Coke label and I'm going to project the geometry of these outer edges just here and I'm going to use our vertical constraint to make sure this line here is vertical then I'm going to use the coincident constraint that point there to that point and this is where Inventor comes into its own I'm going to finish that sketch uh, just for clarity I'm going to turn the visibility of this work plane off so now when we go into decal, there's another option we've got in there. So I select the image, it's going to be this one here, and then I'm going to select this face. So if we just do that now, we'll actually just extrude on just like we did with the top. Whereas if you hit this magic button here, wrap to face, what you'll see, it wraps that Coke can label all the way around. And I think you'll agree, it's pretty good results for, you know, five minutes. So there we have, modeling the Coke can as quick as we possibly could.